regards to having fillies, it's a black type race, so important for their pedigree. Yeah, it really bolsters their pedigree. Just getting a metropolitan win, but when you're talking stakes and black type wins, that really takes them to another level and it makes their value a lot more um, attractive. And there's a lot of horses that will be hoping to get that stakes victory or that stakes even placing to their name. So Western Dolby is my roughie who's been here, there and everywhere. Moody Valley, Flemington, Kimbla on a couple of occasions. Now up in Queensland in the boat stakes. Here we go. Catch them now, they're off at racing, certainly can, came out badly, last away, look at Tiger Shark, fast in the stride, Mashani Royale goes with an early party for two third away, Teomina right off the track but committed to go forward, then Minos Doro followed by Miss Kuda, a bounding landing about six of the first call, then she's a rogue, Big Spice and Keyboard, followed by Insta Good outside of West of Dolby, and the last trio, Grey Zeus, River High, and certainly can, they're spread it over 13 length, 700 left to run, Mashani Royale is peppering Tiger Shark who keeps the rail. Teomina three wide around party for two at Minnows Doro fifth defence. First split electric 34-27. A bounding is poised and ready to go. Then Miss Cooter, she's a rogue right off the track. Followed then by Big Spice West of Dolby. A long way back keyboard it's the good grace who certainly can at Ruba High is last of all. Tiger Shark by the 300 metres. Can she burn the camel at both ends? She's going pretty good. Minnows Doro can't get her a share. A bounding on the outside making fair ground and West of Dolby is slicing through. Tiger Shark in front. West of Dolby, the danger. A bounding now comes after West of Dolby. But West of Dolby's got a kick and from the mode. Beat over bounding. Third big spice. Tiger Shark got leg a weary late. They're followed then by Grey Zeus passing a few. Then Minnows Doro certainly can. Rumor High, Miss Kuna party for two. Keyboard Insta Good. She's a rogue for Shani Royale. And Teodina, last of all, in 1-10, 1-1. So Brock Ryan jumps up the highway and wins a listed race for Ben Smith with West of Dolby. A horse at $22.50 that had uh, run at Mooney Valley and at Flemington, ran fifth to Wigan um, at about 200 to 1. Then went to Kembla, was terrific there behind uh, Shadows of Love. And look at the price there. You missed the fact that you put it as your uh, roughy, that, Rachel, and well, uh, it was very nuts. well tipped. Well done to you. That's uh, all uh, credit for picking west of uh, Dolby. $22.50. Punters were duly rewarded if they follow Rachel's roughy. Well, hopefully someone did. And Mick Spice at $16 <laughs> the place. That's go that trifecta's going to play a bit. You throw in your little tiger shark. Da -da -da -da. That's going to be some first four. That will be definitely some first four. But Ben Smith in the winner's circle, he's not afraid to travel his horses. I mean, we... We saw this horse at Mooney Valley at the start of this preparation, then he ran last time out and he was able to run at Kembla Grange. That was not even that long ago, back on the 25th of November, so it was only last week that he was able to run. He's had plenty of travelling on his side, which is pretty hard to do to be able to travel them and still run at their very, very peak. Abounding, I thought was going to be able to run over the top of them, but uh, West of Dolby, the Cho Rucky sort of. So from uh, Doombin to Caulfield, it's been a terrific day of stakes racing at Caulfield today. Uh, so many highlights.